So I saw this video a couple days ago and was going to do a video on it, but decided not to because I had other things going on. But now after new information has come to light, I think it's worth doing a video on. Now what you're going to see is this guy's name is Owen Schroyer, and he's actually at a Women's March rally. He works for Infowars. He's a Trump supporter, I think, and he's there talking about why he thinks like the pay gap and the Women's March is kind of baloney and it's based on just hating Trump and not much else. So he's having a discussion with people, which you can watch the whole video uh, if you like. And this woman comes up to him and basically sexually assaults him by grabbing him by the crotch. At least that's what he claims. So I want you to watch the video and then I'm going to talk about some of the fallout out of it. So here we go. Instance in itself could be considered a minor issue. So as if our president can grab a woman by the pussy, I can grab you by the balls. She just grabbed my dick. Is that sexual assault? No, fine. Is that sexual assault? Yes. So you just sexually assaulted me? I did assault so you. So you be arrested? Arrest me. Well, I'm not going to arrest you. There are police officers right here. But So look at this. Women have so much privilege, she can sexually assault me and get away with it. If I did that to her, I'd get arrested. I just told you. If you want to go ahead, there are police right here. I don't, I'm not complaining. You're the one that walked up and grabbed my crotch. Yeah, because I'm fighting for equality here. How so? Okay, so do you see what happened here? She walks up and she, supposedly she grabs him by the crotch, though I admit you can't see, it's under the camera, but you could tell by his reaction and he even asks her, did you just sexually assault me? And she says yes, but she's smug about it, she's smiling. She thinks it's okay. Now this is all based on the fact that supposedly Trump said in a private um, discussion with someone, yeah, I grab women by the P word. Uh, this was him being big man talking as a big man. I doesn't, don't think that literally means he goes up to women against their consent. He even says actually they leave him. But that's just big man talk. If you have actual video evidence of him walking up and sexually assaulting someone, then yeah, we should charge that. Until that, it's big man talk. This woman thinks that the fact Trump said that means that she should be allowed to walk up to this gentleman who's wearing a Make America Great Again hat and grab him by the crotch. Well, she can't. That's sexual assault. Now, the police are standing right there and they do nothing about it. She even feels smugly like, oh, of course I'm entitled to do this. It's no problem. I can do whatever I want. That's great. She admits to sexually assaulting him. Well, humorously, she's now been arrested for sexual assault. So according to the Washington Post, which I'll link this article below, Women's March participant charged an incident with InfoWars reporter. A participant in the Women's March in Washington earlier this month has been accused of inappropriately touching a video producer for InfoWars. Isabel Shangasi, 21, was charged with misdemeanor sex abuse, a police spokesman said when she surrendered Wednesday. So what happened is she actually then apparently this Mr. Schroyer decided to push the matter and go ahead and say, yeah, she sexually assaulted me as he should. That is sexual assault. I wouldn't walk up and do that to a woman. If Trump had done that to a woman as opposed to just have the allegations of him saying that, then yes, he should be charged with sexual assault. But we don't see that. That's just his words. Anyone could say anything, but to actually go up and do it is sexual assault. There are a group of women that think because Trump said this, that that means they could go and sexually assault people. We see this all the time. What's more disturbing is one, the cops sit there and didn't intervene or do anything. Can you imagine if this had been the other way around? Can you imagine if this had been a bunch of people at a Trump rally and a woman shows up and some man grabbed up and grabbed her and her genitals like that? Do you think that the cops would have just been like, <laughs> no big deal? Do you think the crowd would have cheered? And it ironically does kind of prove Schroyer's point. Like, what are you talking about? We live in a society where women can sexually assault men like this and no one bats an eye. The idea of men getting raped in prison, no one bats an eye. The sexual abuse of men is considered laughable. It's a joke. When we have female teachers that abuse young children that are men, it's like, eh, no big deal. This is the kind of insanity, yet we're supposedly, we live in this patriarchy where men just dominate women and it's like the handmaiden's tale and they can do whatever they want. Imagine this role reversed. The mob would beat a man who walked up to a woman and did that. It would have been crazy, but instead they cheer when it happens to a man. So I just thought it was an interesting point to show kind of the double standard and to show how this is treated by police and by the crowds and things like that. And the, it, again, only this woman's responsible for her actions, don't get me wrong, but the fact that the crowd cheers and kind of jeers at this man because he's in a Make America Great Again hat, so he deserves it. Just like the Covington kids, right? Hey man, if you're wearing a hat like that, you deserve docs, you deserve death threats, you deserve the media to smear your good name, you deserve your history to be looked at for even at your school that you had nothing to do with, you deserve future employers to know that you wore that hat and that you must be a horrible, evil, racist person, and now apparently you deserve to be sexually assaulted. So I hope this woman uh, it suffers full. I, I guess it is worth reading also. Let's hear her defense of this. Um, she was charged with misdemeanor sex abuse. Police spokesman identified her in a student, as a student of Catholic University. She did not immediately return call for comment. Her attorney did not respond. 
The producer posted a video on the internet in January. Twitter said, here's a moment I was sexually assaulted by a Women's March 2019 protester. She laughed about it. The crowd cheered. The police did nothing, which is all true, as you can see from the video. The D.C. police spokesman said that the report indicated the incident, uh, incident on January 23rd. And the investigation took several days. It, he, the affidavit says that she intentionally grabbed the producer in a private area. In an interview with police, she said that she inadvertently brushed up against him and that he took her comments out of context in what was an emotionally charged situation. Is that what it's looked like to you? She inadvertently bumped up against him? You can see he like comes back and he goes, you just touched my balls or something like that. And she's like, uh, yeah, I did. I sexually assaulted you. Does that seem like inadvertent contact or that her comments have been taken out of context? No. So the blatant lying on top of it. If she truly felt this was justified, if she get, then arrest me. Then arrest me. Then why lie about it now? Oh, because it turns out sexual assault isn't that kind of laughing matter, is it? So just a crazy story. And I hope she is prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. I think it's ridiculous. So just to kind of more of an sense of what some of these people have, like at the Women March protesters, it's not about fighting patriarchy. It's not about fighting for justice. It's about revenge and them thinking they can get away with things like this just based on their gender. So hey, if you like this video, like and subscribe, and I'll be doing a live stream tomorrow at noon. You should check that out. All right, have a good one.